A biohazard is any microorganism, cell culture or human endoparasite that may create a hazard to human health. In other words, any bug that can harm you. Viruses, bacteria and fungi are microorganisms and include HIV, AIDS, hepatitis, E. coli, salmonella and listeria to name just a few. They're identified by this international symbol. It's not uncommon for cleaning operatives to come into contact with body spillage or sharps and find themselves responsible for the safe disposal of biohazards. Contact with body spillage or sharps carries a high risk of infection and contamination. It's vitally important that cleaning operatives are well briefed in the correct procedures for their safe removal, both to minimize the risk to the public and for their own personal safety. So, why the concern? By late 2000, over 36 million people had been infected by HIV and AIDS. Currently, there is no cure for this virus, so all precautions to prevent infection must be taken when coming into contact with blood or discarded needles. Although it is preventable with vaccines, there are currently over 350 million carriers of hepatitis B worldwide. Under the Control of Substances Hazardous to Health Regulations, it's a legal requirement to follow safe procedures in dealing with biohazards. The Code of Practice approved by the Health and Safety Commission gives advice on how to comply with the law. If you are prosecuted for breach of health and safety law and it's proved that you have not followed the provisions of the code, a court will find you at fault. So, how should we dispose of biohazards safely? If there is an area contaminated with body fluids and sharps, always remove the sharp objects first. Stop. Assess the risk of carrying out the task. Make sure that you have the necessary protective clothing and equipment to remove the sharp objects safely. As a minimum, you should have gloves, tongs, tweezers or equipment designed for picking up sharps, and a sharps container. If you're cleaning a larger area, you may need a mechanical grabber that allows you more distance from the hazards. If you're in a situation where you're required to move furniture or bedding that may be embedded with needles, you should be wearing needle protection gloves. If you don't have the right equipment, stop. Prevent others from entering the contaminated area and consult a supervisor. Put on protective clothing. Don't put any part of your body into any area that is not clearly visible. Don't feel around on high shelves or awkward corners. Only touch areas that you can see. Retrieve discarded sharps using disposable tongs or purpose-made equipment. Wherever possible, place the sharps container adjacent to the sharps. Do not hold the container in one hand and the sharp object in the other. Place the sharps in a suitable container for disposal by incineration. Disinfect any reusable clothing or equipment. Remove all disposable equipment and protective clothing to a safe, clearly marked container for disposal by incineration. Disinfect your hands. When disposing of body fluids, again, stop. Make sure that you have the necessary protective clothing and equipment to remove the spill safely. You should have gloves, an apron, oversleeves, absorbing and deodorizing granules, dry non-woven wipes, a scoop and tray, a self-sealed bag marked biohazards for incineration, and disinfectant. Prevent others from entering the contaminated area and put on the protective clothing. Contain the spill using the non-splash technique. Deodorize the spill by spreading the granules over the soiled area and leave it for approximately 30 seconds. Remove the bulk contamination by scooping the waste into the tray and dispose of it in the yellow biohazard bag. Disinfect the area and wipe clean using the non-woven wipe. 
Disinfect the area again and dry using the drying wipe. Seal the contaminated waste, equipment and clothing in the bag and place it in a safe, clearly marked container for disposal by incineration. Disinfect your hands.